Plenty to get into in the news this Friday before a weekend without any Formula One action. It's a shame, isn't it? Toto Wolf makes it sound so simple that easy solutions can be found for Mercedes. Christian Horner believes that upgrades will have to be strategically timed throughout this season. And the FIA, well, we're all just hoping that they learn from their mistakes in Miami when it comes to safety on track. And Lando Norris seems to reiterate that point as well. I'm Ollie Wilson. This is GP Fans, and let's dive into the headlines this Friday. Mercedes believe there is a easy route out of their performance woes this season, or that at least is what Toto Wolff is saying as the Mercedes team principal looks to be optimistic after a rough start to the season. Still well behind the Ferraris and Red Bulls on track with the cars eight tenths behind Red Bull in qualifying in Miami last Saturday, Wolf still believes there is a way to deal with the Silver Arrows performance problems. I think there is an easy route out and you just say we are not able to generate it over the floor and you patch it up, make it stiffer and see where you end up in performance, said Toto. That is probably faster than we are at now but we haven't yet capitulated and gone back to the simple solutions. It's far easier said than done though this season with every team chasing downforce and trying to deal with the porpoising issues. And Wolf admits that if a team is looking to solve those problems and then gets it wrong, then you are kind of in the position that Mercedes find themselves in right now. Elsewhere, Lando Norris is hoping that the FIA will learn from their mistakes after the sports body failed to act upon safety concerns at the Miami Grand Prix. Now, a number of incidents over the weekend in Miami raised some eyebrows from the drivers, particularly regarding the track surface and the barriers around it, most notably the chicane at turns 14 and 15, where a concrete barrier put an end to sessions for both Carlos Sainz and Esteban Ocon, leaving the Alpine driver asking for a Tech Pro barrier to be installed at the section of the circuit to limit the impact with the concrete. Now, the FIA failed to act upon the driver's requests, and McLaren racer Norris hopes that the FIA will learn from its mistakes over the last racing weekend, adding that, As drivers, we understand things differently to someone who isn't driving the car, and I think it is just important that when we give advice, it is taken on board, and there are actions done, especially when I think there is a much bigger consequence of not having the Tech Pro there than having a Tech Pro there, for instance, and something simple. And finally, Christian Horner believes his team will have to strategically decide when and where to introduce upgrades as the financial cap pressure on teams is added to by brutal inflation this season in Formula 1. Red Bull have already used upgrades to help find success in Imola and Miami, while title rivals Ferrari are looking to bring a new package to Spain in just over a week's time. But Horner knows that the budget cap for this season, set at 140 million US dollars, will prevent a flood of upgrades over the year, saying, So you have just got to strategically pick where you want to introduce your components, because especially with inflation the way it is, that is brutal. With the horses for courses idea as well that certain tracks will benefit Ferrari more than Red Bull and vice versa, the tactical timing of upgrades could be huge in the title battle this year. So that's the news this Friday from GP Fans. You can follow all of the news across the weekend, of course, at gpfans.com. We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below as well. And we look forward to getting back to the nitty gritty of the on-track stuff in Spain in just over a week's time.